you ever been somewhere and like met? Louder, I can't hear you. Speak up. <sighs> yeah. Um, have you ever been somewhere and met like your hero or someone that you idolized and like, I don't know, who was it? Have you ever been somewhere and met someone you idolized? <laughs> this guy, true story. <laughs> Actually, I, I like speed guys when I first met Michael Coleman. <laughs> I really did. He was like my hero. Now we're in the That's my word of the day. Oh, totally. We get good. to meet a lot of cool people in this business. Uh, I met uh, Dr. Beverly Crusher from Star Trek. I love you, too! I was, I, I was actually sitting next to her. She was waiting to get on the bus to go to the convention site in Australia. and. I said, so what are you here for? And she said, oh, I play a, a part on a Dr. Crusher on Star Trek. And I went, oh, you are, you her, oh my god! <laughs> and I also met Leonard Nimoy and got to do a photo shoot with him in Boston. Oh, wow. That was badass. Nimoy? <laughs> Nimoy? He's a grumpy old man. <laughs> I love every second I was with that guy. He was like, oh, these lines don't have to be this bright for digital photography. I'm a digital photographer, I know. Yeah, like, at one point he goes like this, these are way too bright. I saw what he was doing, I went like this, and the photographer took the picture. So it looks like they're both saluting. <laughs> Does anybody here know uh, Ellie Modisett Jr.? <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, he's yeah. like yeah. my all-time favorite fantasy writer of the Recluse series, anyone? So yeah. um, I did a convention uh, last year and he was a guest of honor, and I did my best not to gush. Okay, I'm not gonna gush. Yes, I like your work, yes, yes. In comes my identical twin sister. Oh my God, it's you! And she gushed all over him for me. Woohoo! <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, let's see. Uh, in an area I can deal with. Mine is a Star Trek related story as well. Once upon a time, there was a convention, still there actually, in Maryland called Shore Leave. Now, at this particular Shore Leave, Michelle Nichols was a guest. Now, of course, in case you don't know who that is, that's Lieutenant Uhura from the original series. Now, yours truly has been watching this show since I was four. Long time. Guess who I was in love with? Blue. <laughs> she didn't have pointed ears. Anyway, there I am at this con. They're having a Q and A. Bottom line is this: they get to me. I ask the question. Are you real? Can I touch you? <laughs> I reiterate, I have no shame. My answer is still yes. <laughs> Actually, her answer was quite succinct. She looked at me in that way that only Nichelle Nichols can look at you. And does one of these. <laughs> Having no shame, I follow. <laughs> I go on the stage. <laughs> I knew something was up when she stepped back from the microphone and beckoned me closer. <laughs> because the line I what one I, what I said was before that, I've loved you since I was knee high to a dilithium crystal. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> she steps back from the microphone, and like I said, I'm like it could be on. <laughs> she beckons me a little closer and says, So the Lord Jack. Well, you're not knee high to a guy lithium crystal now, are you? <laughs> <laughs> she proceeded to lay one on me. I haven't washed my lips since. <laughs> Gosh. Awesome. As far as I'm concerned, it don't get no better than that. <laughs> the best I could do is a triple. <laughs> I think I may know him. Um, I wouldn't consider him a, 
someone I idolized, but it was pretty cool when we got to play with uh, Sir Mix a lot. I'm not sure if you guys know who he is. Oh. <laughs> so, oh. That was a pretty uh, amazing experience. <laughs> Sweet! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I guess the, the other people I would really look up to would be the music world. Uh, for me, it was meeting and hanging out with a bunch of the guys from the Ramones. Uh, meeting Whoa. Elvis Costello. Uh, and then in my old band, we, we, did a, we played Hollywood all the time, so we'd always run into like people like from Guns N' Roses or uh, people in Lord of the Rings or just yeah. whatever was going on. So that, that was a lot of fun. Well, up at, um, in Moscow, they have MoxCon, and um, we always expect to see somebody like, you know, the, the con people would really uh, go for up there, and we like, kept not seeing anybody, and I was starting to get really disappointed. So, it was after a, a, an SCA dance practice, and we were all dancing in guard because you can't learn to dance in a skirt if you aren't wearing a skirt. And, so there's like 20 of us sitting at coffee afterwards, and Scotty is over for, is over there, and we're going. Is there a con in town that we don't know of? No, no. So why is why is, is is that that is Scotty over there, isn't it? Isn't that Scotty? And we're all kind of going. Quit pointing at the nice man before he calls security. And and so we're going. Oh, okay, we'll stop pointing. Is that? Oh, and, and we're going, okay, yeah, that's him. So what the heck is he doing in Moscow, Idaho, when there's nothing going on? Turns out he'd come to talk uh, to the University of Idaho uh, in the science department for something. And if we had all known, we would have like, totally you know, clotted the halls of that. So, so we're sitting here trying really hard to be cool and not go over to him and ask him to sign a breast. Or so just one page. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, and he walks over to us and says, are you guys doing something? Because <laughs> I noticed the clothes and I was just wondering. And we kind of looked at him and I think I recovered first because I said, you can see us. 